that's how I do fall over. Oh, okay. And I used to do karaoke at least once a week. Two oh, times. Then your fucking kid happened. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, it's true. I mean, she really put a damper on that whole scene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, sorry, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> love you. Yeah. We love you, but you ruined my life. <laughs> didn't ruin my life. I just do karaoke less. <laughs> I just sing in the shower now. Yeah. Hmm. He just does karaoke with her. And it's all Elmo songs. <laughs> <laughs> Those Elmo songs worm their way into your psyche, man. I bet they do. They, like I, I wake up with Elmo songs stuck in my head. And <laughs> Elmo's world is a fucking bizarre place. <laughs> it sounds like a fucking fever dream. Oh, like it, it sounds it, like it, someone's it, on dust, uh, and then they're like they write. It's like the revelation. Like here's someone's here's, on here's fucking some dust, points. and then they write it down. It's like he does mushrooms every day. <laughs> here's some important <laughs> points to take away from Elmo's world. Elmo's parents have three legs or giant genitals. Not for which <laughs> Elmo has a book made out of human skin. <laughs> not not joking. Elmo has a next door neighbor who apparently runs a flop house of 1930s vagrants. <laughs> Not joking. <laughs> and they Speaking hang fact. out a lot. All of this you can find on Elmo's World, on Sesame Street. Readily Dot com. Available. It's <laughs> like, watching any, oh, episode fuck, of Wal- watching any episode of Elmo, Elmo's Dream is like, am I about to start watching Seven? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is What's ha- in the box? What's happening here? Am I, am I about to die? <laughs> yeah. It's... It's fucked up. Hmm. Elmo's, Elmo's world is scary. Eating that. Oh, yeah, so the question I was going to ask Keith is so... God damn it, did I leave my remote over there? Uh, well... Shit. Shit. <laughs> shit down. We're I'll ask the, uh, the question when you get back then. Oh, wait, no, you're still right. over here. So, so, so we're so, staying in this motherfucker? Yeah. Yep, no, oh, we're recording it. Hey, welcome to some bonus content for drinking and thinking. This one goes out to our Patreon subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> what? Whoever you are. Follow us on kickstarter.com slash drinking and thinking. Yeah. Follow, follow us on... MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> Justin Timberlake. My find face. me at some friends, sir. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you can find me at MySpace.com. I see you. Read my Zanga page. Look us up on Bandcamp. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to Bandcamp.com slash Merrick Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's an actual link. You can check that out. Is it? Also, you can go to MySpace.com slash The Aaron Larson. Pretty sure that was my MySpace link. I'm almost uh, or, or you can go to uh, tripod.com slash Merrick and still view the original Merrick webpage. <laughs> still up. Boom. They haven't deleted it. I also, don't know if, why. If you want free music, you know what? That server Bandcamp.com slash Merrick sucks. Download an album for free. Or if you want free music, uh, use the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, what I was going to ask uh, Keith is. Um, um, why is Corey Feldman pedoph- pedophilia? All right. Ascension Millennium official motherfucking video. Okay. No, well, wait, wait till I. Hold on. No, we'll, we'll hold we, this. We gotta, it is we by gotta... Corey Feldman. He has sanctioned this video. <laughs> okay, well, we could maybe riff tracks to that. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that, or we could riff tracks that. Riff tracks is a thing, which is very funny. Um, we, we could so riff on some tracks. We could riff on this particular track. Yeah. So maybe I'm coming from a uh, uneducated consumer point of view as somebody somebody who's lost most of his hair (laughs) but i couldn't help but notice that you keith as the only person living in this apartment have five bottles of shampoo and conditioner (laughs) in your shower is there five in there there are five man it's it's down no no, no, there's 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 four i counted them my friend (laughs) Okay. As I peed in your shower. J- just for you <laughs> listeners, I'm actually getting up and going to check. Nobody cares. Also, also, Keith does have very nice hair. Yeah. When he washes it, you could you could sleep in it. <laughs> That's oh, a big win. Though. Oh, yeah, there's the little bottle up there. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm yeah. counting the little bottle. He has confirmed the fifth bottle, people. <laughs> the fifth okay. bottle has been confirmed. Um, well, you see, that is the thing. I understand that you have not had to deal with this in quite some time because you live with, you know, a woman who Who has hair. All women take up bathroom space. A a lot. She she is agreeing with There's a woman in the room who has confirmed. (laughs) Yes. Now, you see, that is the thing, is that when I start getting low on shampoo and conditioner, I will go out and buy another bottle, and I will actually just put the new bottle in the shower, because if I don't, I will forget to put the new bottle in there. And then it's and just then Keith will... getting wet for no reason. And, and, <laughs> and then I will run out of shampoo, and I will either have to get out and go get the new shampoo or conditioner in order, you know, and 
get all cold and naked and wet around my apartment. Or Good story, bro. <laughs> or I will actually have to try oh, to so shower. Oh, Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I'm doing after you fucks leave? <laughs> <laughs> really, really, this is the longest I've had clothes on this apartment on a Thursday in a while. <laughs> Fair point. But, but I, I mean, yeah, so I, I, I put the new bottle in there so that way when the old one runs out, because cause I'm that guy that will just kind of leave the old bottle in there okay, and forget. that's a fair point. That's and, a fair and point. then, yes, the the little one up in the corner, yeah, I, I will admit, that's I, 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 I like, you know what, I like having nice hair. I do. And especially when you have hair this long, you know, it helps to have a lot of conditioner around. That is a bottle of conditioner that was given by my ex-girlfriend there because she didn't like it. And it actually makes my hair just feel fucking incredible. And so I actually... Herbal essences? No, no. Keith, the, Keith comes and just goes, oh, while well, washing his hair. No. <laughs> onto his, on his, his own hair. It, it's it's like this fucking, uh, it's, it's made out of like Keith all, comes out of the shower just whips all his hair back in slow motion. It, yeah. It, 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 it's, it's, it's made out of like fucking almonds or something, but, but seriously. The almond like, brothers? Like, it, it, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Lord, I was born a <laughs> rambling man. man. Oh, Wait. sweet <laughs> Melissa. But no, seriously, <laughs> it, it, it. it it makes my hair feel like really tired. fucking good. God Jeez, damn it. Oh. You know what? I bought a jar of almonds once. <laughs> There's no brothers in there. <laughs> but I was just but but separating season. families left and right. The, the shit apparently is really, you know, like, I've looked it up. It's really expensive. So I don't actually feel like buying a bottle of it. Right. And so I save it for whenever I have a first date. I use right. that right beforehand because that's the really nice shit. Right. Yeah. If you're looking for dates, I recommend Tinder. Yeah. I say that as someone who met his girlfriend on Tinder. On Tinder. And there's also a Kesha song. Oh, that wasn't too. a joke? No, that was not a joke. We, oh, do you think we can get this episode sponsors, sponsored by Tinder then? We we actually, in oh, all yeah, honesty, yeah. we actually met on Tinder. Can Tinder. you guys do like yeah. a little Tinder plug right now, please? He was the only one that wasn't a dick. hey <laughs> hey so He didn't like ask that. me if I had ever had a guy come inside me before, to which my response was, have you? <laughs> 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 been telling stories this whole time. <laughs> Jesus. It's the dark horse. <laughs> it's like, holy shit. So, we're also joined by my lovely girlfriend, Katie. We met on Tinder. Mm-hmm. Some of you may know Tinder. <laughs> Might be quite fond of it. <laughs> Drunk you, on Saturday night. Uh, yes. Some of you may be. We met on Tinder, and I would love for you to share <laughs> your, like, Tour of Tinder Vietnam. <laughs> for like, you, like, like you're for like. You. Did you have to yes. kill some people? Oh, good um, there were some threats going. So I, I had, I met a couple winners. One, one guy asked me. It was like, hey, hey, have you ever had some guy come inside you? To which my response was. Have you? <laughs> and then he blocked me. <laughs> I might have offended him. I so don't that's know. A yes. And then I had another guy. <laughs> actually, right, about, right before I started talking to you, who he actually does live here in Fargo. He works at a him. major uh, sports store that's I'd like you to sanctioned name here. Me. I was about to say, fuck I can name guy. it. I yeah, think fuck, I still have his. Fuck no, this guy. actually, no. I, I, I think his name was Jared. Oh, Jared. Is but it he, Shields? Because we got a funny story about it was, driving to Shields. It was. He does work for oh, Shields. Oh, yeah. He does work for Shields. Uh, or at least that's what he, you yeah, know, his cover story. story. So, he, oh. he started talking to me, and we're talking about, like, the Twins and baseball, which I really like baseball. So, actually, the conversation wasn't going too terribly until that weekend he was going to the Twins opener. Just got shit-faced with his friends. And I know he's getting more drunk as the night goes on, because he starts calling me Hun and Babe. <laughs> progressively more and yeah. I don't really which, know which this individual funny, that's how Pinnock can tell when I'm getting drunk never <laughs> yeah never met this individual in <laughs> person and then all of a sudden it, the conversation just warps to where I knew it was inevitably going to turn that night and he just goes well on my way back I could drive to Grand Forks and see you and I'm like you're going to drive an hour past where you need to go to get home just to see me? Mm. And he's like, yeah, then I could spend the night. And I'm like, no, you couldn't. <laughs> like, sorry, no, Shut you it couldn't. Down. <laughs> and he keeps trying. He's like, well, I could, I could like, take you on a date. I was like, wow, that's a better start. You should have, like, let in for that. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> so... Take notes, but he, man. But at this point, I'm just getting more and more sarcastic, which, in his drunken capacity, I think he thought he was getting somewhere. And so all of a sudden he goes... 
well, you could send me some pics. And it's, like, 3 a.m., and he hadn't let me fall asleep because my phone just kept going up, and I'm like, bro, you're not getting pics from me. Like, it's not going to happen. N- hell no. And then you he just did, send him pics of furbies at that time? Uh, well, and then he go, well, then he goes, well, I'll send you a pic because I know you want one. And I was oh. like, if you send me a pic, I swear to God, this conversation's done right now. And he's just like, you don't want to see? And I'm like, hell no, I don't want to see. If I wanted to see somebody's dick, I would Google it. Like, it's not, I'm like, no. And then, so, and this is, by the way, maybe the second time him and I have talked. So he then proceeds to say, good night, baby girl. And I'm like, literally, I'm going to sleep. Like, fucking stop texting me. To which his response was, love you, hope to see you soon. And I'm like, ooh. Like, that was unfortunate. And so I didn't respond after that because I don't know how you respond to somebody telling you they love you if you've never met them in person. From experience, you just don't say it. Yeah, exactly. Just don't say it back. But maybe the That's best right. but maybe the best part of this story was after that I think you know he probably woke up and reread his text messages and I hope he was horrified. <laughs> and so we don't talk for like a couple weeks, don't say anything. Come Super Bowl, which is by now Aaron and I have been talking for a while. Come Super Bowl, I'm he sitting at a, somebody during that. No, Super Bowl. I'm, no, I'm sitting no, at a Super she's Bowl. She's a Seahawks fan. And I'm, oh, I'm, I'm a Seahawks oh, fan. Shit. I'm a Seahawks fan, wow. and he <laughs> and like him oh, and okay. I. For, for the under for Derek there, that's a bad thing because he's a Broncos <laughs> fan. Sports. Yeah. All right. So for for the unsports in here, I'm a Broncos fan. She's a Seahawks fan. They played each other in the Super Bowl. Oh, and the, like and the, the finals of the NFL, and I won by a Hard. considerable amount. <laughs> she, she threw for three hundred and forty yards that day, <laughs> yeah. nice. and and by she I mean her personally because yeah. we didn't show up. Yeah. <laughs> so Aaron missed the play. So it's getting to like <laughs> after just bringing that up. I mean, <laughs> so it's getting to like winding down of the Super Bowl, and once again, him and I haven't talked in like a couple weeks. I I considered trolling him a little bit and just like waiting three days and then texting me like you tell me you love me and then you never text me again which at one point he did actually suggest i move to like alabama or something with him when he moves that was Uh, also taking place in this earlier conversation also you'd have to go to alabama Uh, i've already had to live in alabama honey and i swore i was never gonna go back so that's why i bring it up yeah and so now it comes super bowl out of nowhere i get this text that says, hey, baby girl, aren't you proud that your team's doing so well? And I'm like, do you have the fucking balls to text me right now? <laughs> <laughs> to which I just don't respond. To then he starts sending me, like, the post-Super Bowl memes where it was like, the Broncos' last good run was 19, what is it, 80, 90-something? <laughs> 98. 98, no. that's what it was. And, like, he's sending me memes, and I'm just like, bro, like... It's not going to happen. To which I think that was my only response was... Bro, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Bro, which I've never heard from him again. Uh-huh. So that was... Well, I hope That not. was another one. But actually... <laughs> that's a good line to go with. Thankfully, he's, he's, I've never ran into this individual uh, since moving here to Fargo. Um, and then maybe the, the most notable and most helpful tender match that I had before I met him... Tender or Tinder? Because it, uh, it's tender, okay if it whichever. was tender as well. I don't know. Tinder with an I. It was, yeah. it was okay. It, Sorry. It, it was very tender tinder. It was a tender match. moment. Yeah. Tender, tinder moment. We had tender, tinder moments. Yeah. yeah. Not a separate conversation. What I like yeah. to call it tenders. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> we're doing drinking and thinking after dark now. <laughs> so actually, and I think, we for those of you who don't know how. And Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, for those of you who don't know how tender it's works, you can set up like so many miles that if you or within a radius of somebody else who has it, you get matched. So that way you don't have to walk too far to get sex. Exactly. <laughs> well, my... No, seriously. She, who in this seriously. apartment building is on Tinder? Okay. No, no joke. Okay. Beer just went up my nose. <laughs> okay, I, I have a side note from that. So there is a gay version of Tinder called Grindr. Grindr. Yeah. And I, I mean, I've heard of it. <laughs> and, and, okay, so I literally have a gay friend and the reason I knew about Grinder was because he had Grinder and he used it to meet gay men. And I was like, and it was before I knew about Tinder, like way before. And I was like, there's no fucking way that like this, this exists. Not that it exists, but that like that, that many people are on it. Right. Around Especially here. in North Dakota, which is like around historically ultra conservative. Yeah. And I like, so I was like, okay, 
pull it out. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> grinder. <laughs> That and grinder, <laughs> and let's see, like how far, like you, seriously, how, like how far could you conceivably go? And he opened it up. It was literally in my building, like in my in my apartment complex. There was someone on grinder that he got matched with that he could like conceivably like leave, hang out with me, and go have sex with. And I was like, motherfucker, like good on you, like. <laughs> If the, man, like, like he pulled, he's got to figure it out. Yeah, like, like <laughs> he, 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 he like pulled out his phone and he opened up that app. It was just like, it's literally like this building. I was like, mother, that's my building. Yeah, I was like, I run like, this like, shit. Like, fucking good on you. You like, have to I, walk upstairs for a squeezer. That sounds pretty okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah like seriously, like fucking good on you. Like, Ugh. but yeah, so. The reason I bring up the distancing is I actually was going to go on a date with somebody in Fargo, but I was living in Grand Forks at the time, which is like 74 miles. Well, my, whatever, my settings were always set to 50 miles, so I wasn't pinging off people in Fargo up to this point. I drive to Fargo, and this kid had to work, and he was like, hey, well, he's probably about my age. He, um... Is he young? He had to work, and he goes... I'm really sorry I just got pulled into this business dinner. If you... Because he knew I had some other errands that I was running while I was here in town. And he goes, if you just want to hang out at the mall, I'll text you as soon as we're done. And then we can go get coffee. And I'm like, alright. So I stay in town for like an additional two and a half hours after I'm done with shopping. Like waiting for this kid to get off his business dinner. Mm -hmm. To which he then texts me, hey, I'm really tired. Sorry, I'm going home to bed. Oh, so yeah. I drive oh. like seventy four miles to get blown to sh- off in Grand Forks. But, not the but good it ends up no, 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 off. Yeah. yeah, no. She drove from Grand Forks to Fargo. Oh, that's yeah. She drove here, which it actually and worked out in my favor significantly because that is when both of us had Tinder at that point, and that's when we got matched. Was on oh. my trip up here. So, thankfully, oh. yeah. Oh, no, oh and I also had the one kid that wanted to take me to, the one church? conductor that, no, that wanted to take me to Vegas for spring break. Okay. Our, our but then he remembered that... Train music conductor? Train conductor. But then he Might remembered been, that he had already before. promised... Might have been a music conductor. But then he had remembered that he promised his mother that he was going on a cruise with her for spring break, so... Oh. I didn't get to go to Vegas what? anymore, I don't like any but... part of that sentence. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, yeah. But, no, Tender... Aaron was the first person that didn't really say any sexual innuendos <laughs> or... Hey, you want to fuck? Because in both he, of us had our that, own... He saves that for us on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Both of us had... <laughs> okay, so... Both of us so had our guys... own reasons for being on Tinder. Mine was personally just because when I couldn't sleep at night, I just loved to laugh my ass off at the shit people would say to me. Okay. Because... Apparently. It, okay. Yeah, like, it was just comical. And there's no better be way nice than girl. opening... <laughs> Into like watching some guy's best play and just being able to go like, ha 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 And like, yeah, okay. exactly. Honey, when you explain why you're on Tinder, leading with I was bored on a Saturday night, not the greatest <laughs> no, choice of right. words. That's uh-huh. true. That's fair. Like, right. I, like, I love you, but like, phrasing. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, and then you were basically on Tinder just because ladies that work bribed you, so. Yeah, no, I, I, I want to so, see some tea. Oh, is that what he told you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so, so quite literally, while, while I was working for the DOT, on one of my very many extended lunches. <laughs> um, my madman lunches. Yeah, yeah, on my madman lunches, working for the fucking DOT, um, one of my coworkers met her boyfriend on Tinder. And both of the coworkers that I would go out for lunch with and have drinks with, they were both female. And she had met her boyfriend on Tinder, and the other one was married. And so they made it, it was like a, like a, kind of a joke game or whatever, like trying to find me a girlfriend. And so after the one met her boyfriend on Tinder, we were out having one of very many coping drinks, because we work at a fucking call center for the DOT, you need to, you know... You need to cope. drink. Yeah, you need to cope. So we were out at the Hodo, which is a bar in downtown Fargo. Hey-o. And uh, we were having some cocktails after work, and she was like, I'm gonna fucking sign you up for Tinder. 
I'm like, I'm fucking okay. So she signs up for Tinder, and you like pick a couple pictures for a, with your profile, couple and then dick and pics. yeah, you, you know your best dick pics, yeah, and yeah. and taint pics, yeah, and I had a lot of really great cleavage pics, which I'm pretty sure is how I got him. Because mama didn't raise no fools. I know <laughs> what part of me is going to get the most attention and get me the most likes. So in the conventional sense. You can see why I fell for that one. The brutal <laughs> honesty of like, mama didn't raise no fool. I'm going to show my titties. <laughs> Worked, didn't it? She was having a good boob day. You um, know, get all the good boob can, day. Can't no, argue it, with the results. No, so. In her words, God knows I've been trying to bag that for years. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so so my Tinder profile, because I which like, I have queued up by the way. <laughs> oh, oh, read it, read, oh, read, it, read, it, read it. I can read, read it here. No, Let no, me no. see. Read my. T- he, okay. I was about to say, you shut All the right. hell up and let her read. <laughs> so his, this story's going nowhere. All right. All right, so this is my actual Tinder profile. <laughs> no, no, no. She has to read it. Okay, no, it says, I'm, I'm um, saying, this as of right now, as of this recording, my Tinder profile says this. <laughs> Voted the ninth most influential Aaron on That's the internet. Twitter profile, Coming too. in yeah. just behind Aaron Carter, yep. which is a pretty fair spot to be. Then he has a couple pictures, the bar... One of him in a pretty burly beard. Him really excited to eat some. It's I'm gonna, I'm it's, gonna say it's hibachi. Pussy, no, it's it's hibachi. <laughs> okay. It's hibachi. It's stir fry. My personal oh, favorite hibachi. picture. It's in a sakura in my not. My oh, personal favorite place. picture in the picture that got me to vote yes on him. I think he's at a wedding in a photo booth where he's holding a stick with a sign that says "I came for the beer," um, which I was like, "Hey, he likes to have fun." Um, one where he's trying to look dashing. I'm in a suit getting my NPH And on. then one where he's in a Broncos jersey in front of the field. But, you know, but it did help that we had a lot of different actually shared interests, which didn't hurt us. Which was actually kind of, you know, how we actually kept talking. Because our first conversation, Aaron said, hey, Tender says we have a lot in common. So that's fun. <laughs> So I'm Aaron. Long, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet I, you. Wait, to which I think, Barry, I think it's a line from a Barry. Yeah. yeah. To yeah. which to which my response was, I saw that. Nice to meet you too. Smiley face. Oh. Because I try to be polite. Smiley face. Who Aren't is you your favorite on Firefly? If you don't mind me asking, because that was one of our right. mutual interests. And because Firefly, the most personal of questions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to which he did say, "Oh man, it's got to be Wash. Much like him, I consider myself a leaf on the wind. Watch how I soar. What about you?" To which my response was, "I have to go with Mal because if somebody ever tries to kill you, you try and kill him right back." That. For Aaron, those that don't know, we're quoting the yeah. show Firefly. And Aaron's response is, that's a solid life philosophy. I'm glad we've gotten to the hard-hitting, get-to-know-you questions. So do you live in Fargo? <laughs> 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 and it went from there. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. But the, you like Firefly? Let me let you He know almost ruined it, baby. though, with a misplaced thanks Obama joke. I did. I did. I almost blew it. I almost because blew it. I don't, I think it was we were talking about like schools. Well, okay, no, system. no, no. What happened was I you you said it. you were an education major. No, I was an English major. Or an English, an English major, and I said, <laughs> and and I said, like I said something about do you want to be a teacher? Oh yeah, and I said, and you said I thought about it, but then I realized I want to pay off my student loans one day. Exactly. To which I said, thanks, Obama. But I didn't know him well enough yet to know that he meant that ironically. Right. And my first flashback was to my right. ultra conservative Fox News watching family, and just went, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> to which my one of my best friends is sitting in the room with me while I'm talking to him. Super very liberal. feminist, yeah, very liberal, lover to death. And she goes, "What?" And I said, "He made an Obama joke." To which her immediate response was. Block him now. <laughs> Just be done with this conversation. But I, I stuck around long enough to all of a sudden I realized he started making other jokes about liberals. And I was like, oh, thank God. I think he was joking about yeah. the Obama joke. Oh, he's so, just a sarcastic asshole. Yeah, so it got <laughs> really? a lot better after that. Yeah, yeah really. Because it really was almost a thanks Obama right. moment. No, yeah, sir, well, okay, because seriously, like, I was I was talking to her and I was like, oh, like, she, like, she seems fairly liberal or whatever. Like, I was like, I was like tentatively like, I think so, Obama. Like I don't know her well enough, but like I feel like she's like liberal enough that like I think so, Obama juggling might be okay. 
So I threw that out there where she said she was an English major. And then it wasn't until after the fact I realized that, like, that almost, like, cost me everything. Yeah. Like, that, that almost... Those jokes can... I... Danny and I, in our first, like, one of our first corresponding MSN Messenger conversations... Were you oh, 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 the, like, the, like, the <laughs> we were, pre-version we, of yeah, Tinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were, yeah, like, like, when the, we were 15 the, years gotcha. old. Gotcha, okay. The, the she, Tinder she from, like, 12 years ago. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because <laughs> I skateboarded in high school, she made... Because Avril Lavigne's Skater Boy had just come out of that. Of course. Yeah, and, yeah and, the, the, the hotmail version of Tinder. And she was Tinder. a Skater Boy. She and, said, see you later, boy. Well, she said... She, she had a point where, like, are you a Skater Boy? And I remember looking at it and like... Fuck, do I want to continue this conversation? <laughs> and yeah. luckily I did, because she's a beautiful, loving woman. Yeah. But I saw that I was like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> the, mo- the moment I knew it was going to work out, and I actually, well, let's say, I to- we're like actually texting because I trusted him enough to give him my phone number at this point, and he texted me and I'm like, so tell me something about yourself, and he wrote me this long text message that said... I'm, pro, what was it? I'm pro... Pro get rights, rights. Pro choice. Pro choice. I live off Diet Coke. I know all the lyrics to most Backstreet Boys, Instincts, and Spice Girls song, and I would trade most things in life for a good glass of whiskey. To which my immediate response to my best friend who was then in the room that day was, he's the chosen one, I'ma marry that boy. I'ma lock that up. <laughs> <laughs> I'ma put a ring on that. Yeah. Diet Coke? Lock. <laughs> I'm a Pepsi fan, motherfucker. No. That's funny. No, we, we believe in God, so we have Coke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I'm fine with it. That, that's the main problem is the diet in front of that. I like diet Coke. You, you can go to hell. You too. I'm sorry, church just, kids I, need to watch I'm, their calorie intake. My problem is it's not coffee or also, it's not also, beer. Also, have drinking. you ever had a Morgan Coke? That yep. had a Morgan diet? Yep. Yep. Morgan Diet goes down a lot smoother. It Morgan does. Diet. Thank Morgan you. Morgan Diet's gross. Thank you. You know what, motherfucker? Just take the Coke out of there and just drink some damn whiskey. <laughs> right. Fair. Well, I'll well, drink some Jameson I've been known to rocks. chug some All right, spice. Morgan, not not exactly the highest quality. Like, but Morgan damn needs good. a little bit of mixer. A little bit. Eh. I wouldn't drink it by itself. That's so. just because you're not believing I wouldn't drink it by itself. <laughs> At least they take life a shot. You gotta click your heels while you're drinking. <laughs> God damn, she hasn't even been drinking. She's starting to bust his balls now. <laughs> this girl needs to come around more often. Like, this is the old busting balls well, podcast where here. Like, where were you? You're not allowed to have a book next time. Jesus Christ. Here, you can just apologize. take a walk. And, yeah, 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 no shit, yeah. I'll just get to <laughs> stepping. I'm just gonna leave my girlfriend for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> she belongs to us now. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be at home playing Hearthstone. <laughs> be, be, She's be, drinking Thinkin's girlfriend now. <laughs> <laughs> That feeling when you're upstaged by your girlfriend on a podcast with your friends. <laughs> Sorry, man. This has been you're, a you're great a uh, side podcast right here. Yeah. yeah That's funny. This is so good. If, if, if you want to hear more of this, uh, write in, because I, 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 I think we could have this. Because for the next segment, we can talk about how awkward it is trying to explain to your family that you met on Tinder, especially Ooh. to the older generation that doesn't know what it is, while the younger generation is snickering and laughing their ass off behind you. That's a great time. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good time. We, we will, we're going to leave them hanging. You we're can follow her at Katie underscore Macy. Mm-hmm. Bam. Katie oh. underscore Macy. Follow that woman right there. Available woman. I feel like follow that woman's really a selective phrase. On Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. On Twitter. I Not need, in real life. I don't need stalkers. You FM creepers anymore. out there. I, I got rid of the last one. So. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's already well, taken, so don't, yeah. don't, even, don't even think about well, it. Yeah, she, she, well, she was don't smart. Don't even she drink told, and or think about it. <laughs> She's smart. She told us where she lived, you know, before we started recording. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> true. that's true. That's true. Okay, Corey. but for real, we're going to leave now, so... Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, watch Corey Feldman's Ascension Millennium video on YouTube. And let us know what you think about it. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're almost at an hour and a half. <laughs> All right. That's what your mom said. We get <laughs> And on that note, I think we could probably wrap this up. Uh, this has been the... Seventh episode, Fancy. eighth maybe episode, twenty third thing, sixty ninth episode of drinking and thinking. They're all um, episode sixty nine. You can you can. Really, uh, they're all like a new episode one. Yeah. I mean we 
really we still haven't achieved our original vision <laughs> this is you've <laughs> all been taken on a, a, on a trial right now <laughs> oh, wow. but you can always listen to us on our soundcloud page as well as our website i say funny things.com where you can also check out uh some funny original content being provided by uh some people a bunch, write, some people write some, some people, stuff some people who write who are very funny so check them out uh my name is derek i can be followed at d Ostall. I'm also Derek. I can be found at Derek Pinnock. Uh, my name is Keith. I can be found at Keith Hagel or at your local corner liquor store. Hey-o. <laughs> and, and our guest, Aaron. I'm Aaron. I can be found at Aaron T. Larson. So thank you, Aaron, for joining us on, on yeah, our podcast. We'll, we'll do this again. I hope so. Woo! We should have you on again and get hammered. I, I'm all drink? for the, all of these things. What if we drink and we think? Oh. Yeah. Wouldn't that be a concept, folks? Instead of just drinking. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, hey, get drunk, fuck someone you love. Good night.